Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk to Ray J on Ebro in the morning. Give it up for him. Yes. Ray J's here. Ray J's here. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Wait, you got a whole bunch of people with you. They ain't even clap. The VH1 people didn't even clap nothing. You causing problems already? They're not happy for you? Nah, they could. They good. They didn't even clap, though. Yeah, we all good. Let's clap, VH1. Come on, VH1. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ray J, seriously, you think, the, you think the people at VH1 are tired of you? How many nah, shows? How many shows I'm have you had on, on that my, network? I'm on my sixth show. Six. I'm tired mm-hmm. of him. They love him. Six. And I got. I got. A, I'm developing another show on VH1 right now. So why? Why go back on VH1 after all the success for the love of Ray J, all that stuff? Now you go back on loving hip hop. Well, I was. I had to deal with Oxygen, and we was. We when I still got something going on over there, and we, we was working on the Bad Girls All Star Battle. We did one and two, and then. Um, Mona called me Then Susan Who's one of the heads Of VH1 on the west coast When she called Mona me Mona was like Yo Ray J Let's get this money And I was no, like Mona right, right? Right? Yo Ray J Let's get this check <laughs> I was, like, with me. I was right. like I was like I thought about it But it, I was doing something else But then when When Susan called me I knew That's the big boss you one of them And so I was like Okay I know that there's a future here again because when I did For the Love of Ray J, I came back and created Brandy and Ray J, a family business. So it, it helped our pro- production company grow. So this time around, it's that same kind of deal except you, we doubling up. You've had a lot of success with video in your life. Yeah. Videos made you a lot of money. Some why, of why, why in hell would you last year drop I Hit It First? Why did that happen? I loved I Hit It First. Because see, I hit it first was a promo campaign to go in the Bad Girls All Star Battle. We dropped. Yeah, but I hit you bringing up you bringing up the old Kim K nah, stuff no, though. No, I wasn't. No, I, I didn't ever say nothing. But about the that. picture, the the artwork Yo, was. Uh, it spoke for itself. Yo, t- talking to the mic, bitch. <laughs> it, spo- it spoke <laughs> for it spoke for itself. This photo is me. Of Kim K. Yeah, I mean, but at the end of the day, like I didn't drown in the promo of it. Like the song but was you still what, brought the song up was what it was. You brought up something sore though that you've even said was a negative time in your hey, life. Bro, I love that song. Yeah. Ray J, you brought up something yeah. that was a song. Can I like my? Like? Can I like the song? I do. I'm not talking about the song. I'm talking <laughs> about like, what the song was about. But what I'm saying is, if you hate a song, I you didn't the hate big the song. Homie. I'm not talking about the and song. And I'm gonna be like, damn, well, I'm gonna come with another one. No, no, no I ain't. But I like that. Not, one. You're not gonna dance me. You know you're not gonna dance come me. On, I raised please. you in this. Come you're not on. gonna dance me. <laughs> Listen, I'm not talking about the song. I'm talking about what the song was about. Yeah. Because you even have been on record that said that that was that period in your life. It was yeah. a negative period. You did. Absolutely. You're not. Even though a lot of people got rich, specifically Kim. A lot of people got paid, right? Yourself, all these shows you got. That moment in your life, you, you're not a fan of, and then you come I out. Hurt, you, I was hurt about it. Devastated. Crushed. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, my nigga. This is me. You, yeah, go, you can go a yeah. lot of places and play around. Yeah, you not going to so come hard. up here and play with me. <laughs> I know your out. whole family. No, and, I, and you know I love you. So it's so like. So you're not going to come up here and, and, and act, man. Well, not. Nah, it's just like, but I hit it first was for the promo campaign for I the Bad Girls All Star. I understand Star what you was doing. I understand what you was doing. I don't want to. I just want to go backwards. I'm just trying to get an understanding. Yes, that's one of, of my. Why that, that happened. That's one of my favorite songs to date. Not only, not only because, you, now, not you, only because we made a lot of money off the song, but because it, it it was just a good song. It was refreshing. It was something that we just had to let out. That's, we that's what or me, you, me and the writer Bobby Brackens wrote the song with me. Okay, he wrote the song Two On. That's out now. Okay, he um also wrote Loyal. With okay, Ty. um we we also did a song called One Four Three. Speaking to the mic, we also did a song called One Four Three. So when he presented the song, we we went in like we you know what I'm saying. It is what it is. Do you ever, but I'll leave it alone. I was going to say, do you ever feel like, I mean, Kim K's making so much money out here now that, I mean, obviously you look at it like I kind of did that. You birthed that. No, God did that. I didn't Don't do bring God into it. You made it weird. God, God, God did that. You just made it weird. Man. God did that, man. You just made it weird, man. So you can't go to the strip club and then go to church? I didn't say that. So then what's the problem? You it's just made it weird. You didn't have to. God did that. I didn't. You didn't put the tape out. No, God, no. God gave us all the success we have. Is what I'm saying. All you right. know legally I can't talk about that. And then you talking about some some stuff that's like 10 years ago. We 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 trying to move into the future. We got all this extra drama I going on right now. I haven't talked to you since then. I'm like. Because you wouldn't come see me back then because you knew what I was finna do. No, no. Because I went to the breakfast club. Yeah, but you because they but they don't know you like I know but at the you. They don't know time, your mom. They don't know but, your sister like but that. But I'm, I'm down to, but listen, E, I'm down to talk about whatever you want to talk about. 
but it's still some old stuff. Mm. And still, I just wanted to see the eye contact because yeah, there's some moves it. you make that, in my opinion, I'm on the box. I'm like, yo, I know Ray J since he was a kid. Mm -hmm. Some of this stuff is real scumbag stuff. Hey. Everybody be a scumbag sometimes. I know you I mean, have been. I'm, I'm ragging and tagging. Yeah, you know you how know. I get down. You know. You're going to see my family member on, on Love Triple H looking bonkers. My man, Molly Mars. Killing him. Is I mean, he, he, though? Not that many people know that that's your cousin. There's an interview on High97.com. People go check it out. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, next week, I think, uh, is it next week it happens? Um, he's a uh, part he, of he, he, Love he, he, and Hip Hop here? Hollywood. Say it again. He came here? Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago when he first. See, because uh, sidebar, my cousin who's on Love and Hip Hop, his name is Molly Maul. I call him Jamal. I feel weird calling him Molly Maul. That's weird because I've known him so long. But um, he wanted to start putting music out. And about a decade ago, he was like, yo, cut, I want you to support me. I was like, fam, I don't. Are you my family or not? I'm not just gonna put your music on the radio. You gotta get your game up. Mm -hmm. So you know, Plus, um, you, you know, you were one, you one of the bosses. So you can't just politically just put in. Yeah, but even stuff. still, you gotta be about the music. Yeah. Like you, I'm a firm believer that you know it's about the music, and the music's gotta be great. Yeah, there's a lot of music that gets by that's bullshit, but. If you going to you know, ask me my opinion, I'm going to make sure you got the right songwriters, the right producers, the right facilities, and you putting out music that matters. And he's, you know, he's put out some records, you know what I mean, and, and, and got some things moving for himself. But anyway, um, now he's on Love and Shout out to How much mom. creative control do you have in Love and Hip Hop Hollywood? I don't have no control. You don't? Not at all? Mm -mm. I mean, I control my scenes and who mm -hmm. I shoot with, but I don't, I don't have no control. Well, that is control. Yeah. Well, I mean, he knows what to do. He's an what? experienced. Yeah. I usually control, like, I, I'm usually in the back, like, making sure everything is right mm -hmm. in the edits in all my shows that I, like, EP'd. But Mona and them got all control of this. I'm just turned up. Wow. Yesterday we saw the first episode. Um, I was a completely different side of Tara Marie that I saw. And she looked bonkers. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. To me, she looked, I keep she telling looked, you that Tierra Marie girl will come up here and try to fight you. Why? You know, I mean, I just didn't I didn't expect that from her. She's crazy. I, I honestly I didn't expect that from her. Yeah. Has she has she always been like that? Um, she always she from the D, so she always had a had a voice and she mm. always like when she got mad, she really kinda expressed herself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more over the top than other people would. Physically, you know, a lot of, a lot yeah, of, yeah, a lot of physical altercations. So that is the reason why you decided to move away from that. Well, I just, you know, I don't put my hands on women, mm -hmm. so you know, you keep getting punched a lot of times, or you keep getting hit. Like, you know what I'm she saying? Put, you don't she wanna... put her hands on you. She punched watch. you a couple times. Well, I mean, yeah, you gotta watch the show. Well, I saw her throw a punch at your new girlfriend. Yeah, she throwing a lot of blows throughout the whole season. Mm. So you used to mess with this Tierra Marie thing? Yeah. She's a beautiful girl. She's good looking. Yeah. yeah. Very good looking girl. girl. And you stepped away from it because it was abusive, which is obviously a hot topic right now with a lot of things we're seeing in, yeah. in the media. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna be put in a position where, you know what I'm saying, I gotta I, I gotta try to get away or, you know, defend myself and you know what I'm saying? I don't mm. want an accidental elbow to hit me, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to run away and be I'll be in trouble. So you getting you you recently just got in trouble in a hotel too. Girl I said you grabbed the ass. Really, yeah, that that didn't happen though. Uh, I got probation because I went I went further than what I should when they was trying to say I did that. So then you turned up in the lobby and that's what really got you in trouble because you felt like that's what I'm in. I'm in trouble because I didn't do the shit and then it's like you being accused yeah, of something like, you didn't do. But I still shouldn't have did that. That was wrong. I should turn up in the lobby. I shouldn't have overreacted mm -hmm. like that. But it, I, it's frustrating when a girl be like, "Oh, you grabbed my ass." You be like, "Chick, if I wanted to grab your ass, I would have grabbed I your was ass." Like me, like what for real? But when I seen when when I seen the footage back, it was just like, come on, man. I just I don't ever want to be put in that position where, you know, because my mom, my sister, like I respect women all the way around the board, mm -hmm. um, and I just didn't want to be um, typecast like that. So it right. was real important for me to have that, make sure that go away. Whatever I gotta do with what I did after, I'm good with that. Do you feel like um, you're an easy target right now for people? Too just much. because of your, I mean, the reality shows, the stuff we was just talking about with the tapes, this incident. Feels like this incident in the lobby, you, you was kind of a target. Yeah, probably. But you know what? You got to know how to control your emotions. You know what I'm saying? But 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 I learned from it, though. You, know you had I'm been saying? drinking, I'm sure. I was a little turned up. Tad bit. <laughs> Tad bit. I was, I, was, I, was, bit. I, was, I was having fun. But um, you know, and then just to be like, yo, you did this, yo, I didn't, y'all. We you we you get what? what? You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't do that. 
Ray J's here, ladies and gentlemen. Love and hip hop Hollywood. What should we expect from this new Love and Hip Hop? Like, is um, you know, the 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 big franchise is Atlanta. Love and Hip Hop New York is doing its thing. Mm -hmm. Now you have Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Who's all on the show? Like, I'm not, you know, I don't really. Little watch Fizz the had show. a really interesting uh, angle. I with heard his a son. lot. Of people really like his storyline. Mm -hmm. Little Fizz taking care of his kid. Soldier yeah. Boy story was pretty good too. What's that about? Um, it's him and um, whose daughter is it? You don't know? Oh, oh, um. Teddy Riley's daughter. Yeah. Teddy Riley's daughter. What's her name? Leah? Wow. Leah. Leah, yeah. Leah? I think. Nia. Um, Nia. Oh, I'm sorry. Leah or Mia? Nia. It don't matter. Nia. Teddy okay. Riley's daughter. I'm in. I'm, I'm checking it out. So they're they're together and uh -huh. she's trying to get him to just commit and I think she has a, a, a baby. So I think they're going to try to move in together and try to like work it out. And he's Soldier Boy, you know. I don't know if he's going to agree to like. Soldier Boy need to get some tips from her father on these girls. records. Get these records back in action. Who else is on there? Um. Marley, oh, Marley, we my about. assistant, my assistant Morgan is on there. What do you mean? I got my assistant on there. Her name is Morgan. Morgan. So she like my right hand throughout the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't when I when I did my deal, I didn't have to shoot with my girl. So my girl ain't a part of the cast. But it was it was times when I needed her to be there because it was events where my girlfriend should be there. Right, so, right, right. You know whether the cameras was on or not, it just was appropriate for her to be in scenes. And then that's when certain things got out of hand. But. Do you think this is going to change your real relationship with her? Nah. No? Nah, nah. I mean, listen, I don't know. I can't I, I, I can't, I can't say because I ain't really never went this hard in a one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll see. So, wait, you mess with the girl, Morgan. You have. have. No, no. That's no, not no, that's his assistant. That's my, like my sis. Like, so, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have an assistant that I smashed. It's just not, it's not professional. It's just going down the wrong road. <laughs> like it's not right, E. I don't know if I believe you, man. It's not right. Your track me. record suggests you would <laughs> smash the assistant. Not me. And I, I go to bed at nine. Has it happened I get up in the at past? 6 a.m. I don't club unless I'm getting a check. Okay. Has you know it happened in the past? And then you learn uh, from that mistake. No, has no. Nah, I've never been in a relationship with my assistant. Never yes. shit where you eat. Okay. No, I'm not. Fair enough. I respect it. I yeah. wouldn't even get the t that type of girl that I would really go for to be my assistant. It's mm -hmm. wrong from the jump. Fair enough. You know, if you want to, you excited to go to work because your assistant there, you got the wrong assistant. <laughs> you got to be excited to go to work so you can, you know, stay on, stay on point. Not a oh, baby. I gotta go. My assistant gonna be there. I wonder what she wearing today. <laughs> I gotta go. I can't do that. Uh -uh. Ray J's kind of grown up a little bit. I respect it. Got a girlfriend. That's different. Yeah. Usually you out here playing around yep. a little bit. How mm -hmm. long have you guys been together? We we've been together for like almost two years in a weird kind of way. Okay. Well, what's weird? Um, just cause I just you might want to get that answer together. Well, for next I mean, time. well, nah, we've been together for like a year, but then we was together before that for a year too. <laughs> but I was kind of in another situation. Okay. <laughs> As he sips his tea. <laughs> All right, but at least a year is still a strong year. I was in another situation. Then I, then I, then I, then I, when I met her, I fell for her. Okay. And then I realized that the other situation was bad, and this one was good. Okay. Why was the other situation? Well, the other situation because was Tierra. Yeah, the other situation was already on the ropes. Like I and got, that was Tierra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, like I, like Miss Kathy Hughes and Mr. Liggins. Like they, they got me on this. Those are on this TV. those are people from Radio One. Yeah, yeah and on, TV One as yeah, well. TV so one. I got a situation over at TV One too. And it was affecting that because of all the loud stuff that was going on in the condo that they, that they got me. Ooh, okay. So I got kicked so out of the condo a, oh, because wow. of her. Oh. They had to move me to the Four Seasons, which was real costly. And you know people, don't, you know what I'm saying? It's going over budget. For something that had to do with a relationship issue that had, she you know, glass the breaking. Mess, I'm like, yo, I really love you, but it has to stop. Because it's three years from down the line, we going to both be broke somewhere you know what I'm saying? Trying to get, trying to get it together because we at each other. And you're never gonna allow never and somebody I, and, to mess up the franchise. And when I see it early, I immediately just just say, you know what, we can't do this. What what's your girlfriend's name? Princess. Princess. Um. How do you? How did you guys? Yeah. What is it? What was it related? You just met her out and about? Just somebody you yeah, know? Something like that. Yeah. But Ray J seems very forward on the show. Like when he's talking to Terry, he's very honest. Doesn't want any problems. I respected that. Yeah, because when I listen, when I turn up on the show, I turn up on the show because I'm working. Mm -hmm. And even whatever I do, it could be crazy, it could be over the top, it could be something that you might not even agree with, right? 
But after that, that's it. Like, I don't. Yeah, I don't, not in your real personal life. Yeah. You turn up for TV, is what you say. That's what I'm saying. So it even goes back to the song. You your know, response it's, it's to campaign, your you know response to whom this person is, Princess, was, mm-hmm. yeah, something like that, which yeah. automatically makes me want to ask more questions. Ebro, you were OG. You know what I'm saying? And you, at, you go in. So be my guest. How did you meet this? Who is this young lady? Do Princess we know her? Lord, she's the love of my life. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? When I wake up, I got bacon and eggs on the table. So she's a uh, domestic. She likes to cook and things. She likes to make sure that that I'm happy. What does she do for a living? She she got a new clothing line out right mm, now. Okay. Princess, I heard, somebody, Princess Love I, I heard somebody called her a stripper. That's not true. That is was it? what Tierra said. Oh, okay, but you know no, what was she a dancer? She yes, she was. Oh, okay, okay. Did you meet her at a? <laughs> did you meet her at? at did a, at you a club? meet her at said strip oh, club? Oh no, 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 okay. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Nah. She lives in LA. She, she lives in she, Vegas. Well, yeah, she stayed in um, she stayed, she stayed in like the Bayish, Vegas ish. No, that uh, doesn't work geographically. You, know you can't do both of those. <laughs> Geographically, that makes no sense. Bayish. You can't do Bayish and Vegas ish. <laughs> nah, she was um, she was. You might Vegas. be able to do L.A. Vegas ish. Yeah, that nah, where, she, that makes somewhat sense, even though they're two hours apart or four <laughs> or is it four, whatever it is. But she was staying in Vegas. Ah, mm. got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, do you want me to do my own reconnaissance on this, or are you gonna tell me? No, nah, I mean because, well, she, because you know the situation she, was a, was a, was a bit a bit different, and again, I I got nothing but respect for everybody, <laughs> of, of, of everybody, right? The ho- listen, the homies is real active in here, right? Because they know <laughs> your, your team is cracking <laughs> up right now. Because listen, because they know we, to the because mic, we man. really like you know what I'm saying. Nah, it's my know brother, what you right? Really like. But at the end of the day, I'm not here to talk mess about nobody. I'm not here to disrespect nobody. Why, why did this you know get what I'm saying? No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just making a point all the way around the world. Right, right, it right. could be anybody. Because before I might come in here and just be hella reckless. I'm not like that no more. Wait, wait. How did we get to a bad space? We in a great space. Yeah, but how are you? No, no, like, no. I'm just saying. Before I tell you what's about to, I'm because I'm about to tell you what's happening. I'm about to go into it. <laughs> but before I go into it, I just wanted to, you know, clear the air. All right, go for it. That's the love of my life. I love that girl. The love of his life. And you ain't really never heard me like go in. Like, I really love this girl. I'm chilling. Yeah. I, right after I leave here, I'm going back to see her. He's you in love. I'm saying? And you and, met her in Vegas. Yeah. And she was stripping in Vegas. Not at the time, I don't think. I never really seen her in action like that. Cause it, Y'all I met at a party. Like, I don't really care what she did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just really liked her. Got you it. know what I'm saying? And now she got the clothing line. She got the clothing line. She but where did she been working but on the clothing line? But you just was like, you don't want to disrespect anybody. Like, how would yeah, you? Yeah, I don't disres- want to. Di- no, no, no. I'm just saying in general. Like even when you asked me about the I hit it first song, my what I'm saying is I don't want to disrespect nobody. That's not what I'm here to do. On the on the show, Tierra Marie is really passionate. You know, got she's it. always like she's super aggressive. I mean, you could tell she's hurt. You Shout know, out the camera. Um. She's hurt because she said that. Uh, I mean, let me see if I remember it correctly. She said that you guys. She came into your life, then all of a sudden she gave you space, thinking that that's what you needed to heal. And then you moved your new girlfriend in, and she was like, Whoa. "Yo, that Bobby Smarter song. <laughs> did I say? Did I say it right? That song is bananas. <laughs> did y'all hear you're Remy's verse? To, you're not about to do. Did that. y'all? No, I'm about to answer the question. Okay, okay. okay. Just, no, no, no. Listen, I love y'all. I'm about to do it. But I'm just telling you what we saw but on the show. But that song was crazy. I was thinking I, when I saw Cameron, then I thought about the new song, even though they not on the song. Crazy song. Oh, Remy, Shout okay, out now. to Remy Ma yes. verse. Amazing. Killed that. All Amazing. Right. Boom. Back. But this is just what we saw on the My show. Bad. I got ADD. All right, right. But well, that's just what we oh, saw on the show. Act up. So no, right. <laughs> no, but he just you know, let me know. Am I correct? Yeah. Or, this uh, is how it. This is how it happened. I see what this is. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, man, listen. So, look, back to your girlfriend. Not your a girlfriend. scumbag anymore. Your girl, yeah, you are a scumbag. No, I'm not. Listen, no, listen, I'm not. I tell you, I was going <laughs> yeah, in, girl. I was yeah. going to let you answer he's it that, yourself. That, I yo, know what moves in Vegas. Filthy, slimy. <laughs> scumbag. Scumbag. Listen, I know what moves in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. I know who moves and where it moves at. No your doubt. girl that you love. No doubt. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, she was with some people before she was with you. Mm-hmm. But, in, but, again, like... That's, that's and not that that matters, but it, there but is a story there that people I may know, or may there, not know. There's a code that you know what I'm the saying. The G code, I understand. And I know the, the code. And, and, and dealing with certain people, you gotta respect the code because it'll just get 
way messy. So instead of that, I love her, I met her. People kind of know what it is, but out of respect for the whole everything, I'm chilling. And nobody got any feelings. Everybody's nah, good. Nobody got no feelings. It, just, it is what it is. But again, I didn't, I, you know, I'm working. And the, the minute you flip it and go back into some other shit and start creating this kind, it just becomes too much. I don't want to be involved with that. But the whole show is about that. Well, no, 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 no. What he's saying basically is. Please tell him, E, for me. Tell me for me. Nah, because I, you know, then I'm going to have to say names. Yeah, and that's what, and again, that's what I'm saying. Okay. It just, it just get to be too much. You know what I'm saying? It's too much. But I don't think Floyd, I don't think Floyd, and those, I don't think they would be, like, have an attitude about it. <laughs> I mean, everybody got a lot of exes, man. What Floyd are you talking about? The homie wants you to go in. Because my, the homies is reckless. Listen. The homies is well, Yo, I don't even know Floyd. Floyd Mayweather's a good dude, Floyd man. Mayweather, oh. yeah, what, 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 what? Come on. Blood, blood, blood. Oh, low, low. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter what. I mean, you know, y'all in love now. Y'all in love now. <laughs> yeah. We in love. Like, and, and I admit that. I ain't trying, you know. I'm happy. That's good. I'm happy for yeah, you. Yeah, he's happy. happy. And then you have more music coming out, I'm sure. Yeah, I got. I dropped a song called ATM with with Migos, a little club banger we just put out on iTunes. Uh, we we just dropped a video. We about to go over to 106 and premiere right now. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So we got that. You probably when you put a song out on iTunes, you probably sell like forty thousand copies real quick. It's probably pretty easy. Some good money for you. It's always good profit wise for for us because the cost of you making a song is probably overhead. You got your own studio still, right? My own studio. I got my own office. I got my own so the guy. overhead is low. I you put the money. record out, sell forty thousand copies, and make a nice check. I mean, and if you if you if you time it and budget it out like that in a twelve month span, I mean, you making some real money if you put it out and properly put a platform together. Yeah, you could eat. I don't throw out records all the time. Yeah, you do so what, like two, three a year. Sometimes, your, sometimes singles but, mostly. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying. And then you know, for me financially, it's always more so about selling television shows and building the brand as far as the production company. Because that's just the lane I'm in. That's just where, that's just where I'm the most creative. Are you planning to put out another album? Yeah, I mean, when it's time, if people if people gravitate to what I'm doing, then absolutely, mm -hmm. for sure. But I just want people to want the album like all the way. I just don't want to throw it out. I think singles is is still though a good yeah. It's a good inexpensive way to make a lot of money. Yeah, I you mean, and I mean? Then, you know, we got a situation with with E1, Fifth Amendment knockout and then we also got our in groove system too that's a whole nother system for artists that that aren't getting you know major budgets and stuff then they can go through this other system are you signing an artist yourself you have your own artist yourself or not not, not really like I, I i i mess with one of my artists his name peso he produced don't drop that dun -dun -dun. um and then west coast record and then uh we know what i am. okay okay Don't drop that and, um, dun -dun. and so i just Don't drop that and so i just want to make sure every artist gets they right you know what i'm saying they right love my artist truth i signed detail a little while ago oh really but that's i brought detail to la I didn't signed know him for like eight years and then we did sexy can i then he went on to doing drunken love and how to love and all these other yeah, records. No, he's so big right i try to pick and choose the right talent and then put my time into him that's dope. And so your end game is producing television or all of these endeavors combined? Like, where's Every, the Ray J brand going? Everything combined, but but TV. Because, I mean, I, from VH1 to WeTV to Oxygen to, to Nuvo to Reels to all of these networks that I'm involved in right now, it's just that's where it's at for me. It ain't like that for a lot of other people because they ain't really trying to be in this lane. So I'm pretty much over here by myself. And then Brandy. How's Brandy doing? Brandy doing good. We cooking up something. We, you know, I'm back with VH1, so I got a whole nother plan. So do you Unfinished use... Unfinished business. Yeah. And that's coming back. Getting. I can't say. Well, you just, he, he just did. Just <laughs> I can't say. I just said we got some unfinished business we gotta got to take care of. So okay. for her, but musically, is she going to put things out? Are we seeing more music from Brandy as I well? I hope so. I hope so. But you don't I really get too. involved in that. Nah, I mean, I'm there for her. But I don't know how her deal is structured. You know got what I'm saying? It, it, I always stay. I told her, I listen, stay on this independent run. You straight. You know what I'm saying? When you get caught up with all these majors and this weird, you get... It's too hectic. You get stuck. Did we cover everything today? 
You tried to get slick today. I thought oh, I didn't know you was gonna nice come up here like fine. that to me, man. No, I didn't expect that. No, I just I did didn't know because it. I knew that you had a problem with I hit it first before. Yeah. And I just I just wanted you to know that I that's one of my that's one of my favorite songs. But it, it wasn't done. Be. It can't be. It is it. one of my it's I just not. yo, t- we just did that song at Princeton in front of like They're four like thousand people. I'm really sure worse. people like the song. So they like You've it. You've had like, other so hits that was bigger is, than I hit it. I first. know, but just let the people that like it like it. You I'm know, not telling them not to know, like the so song. We had a good time with bow ties and short. We was at Princeton chilling. They it was like we did it four times because they just wanted it so much. So and, let and the people, he likes it. It's his favorite song. So let the people live one of them. It's not my favorite, <laughs> but let let the people live. You know what I'm saying, and then take the controversial out of it. Just let it be relatable it's to impossible. everybody. Why a lot of people hit stuff first, second? Listen, it's no, not I'm, about no, 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 no. no. People can relate. People, people can, can relate, absolutely relate, and that's what it is. Absolutely, it's just that you know what I'm talking about. That's the only thing that was different. If I was Joe Schmo from down the street and I came out with the song, it, it just would have be been a conversation. You wouldn't have put it out. If you was Joe Schmo, this is Joe Schmo is a Yo, good man, name. I'm not, I can't do it anymore. OG, what you want me to do here? Bro? Going, I'm saying, hey, what bro, you want me to do? Ha, bro, you okay, going, you, you have you. you this my do. question to you, and this is way away from the song because I hit it first, is and we buried that song yeah, already. Yeah, cool. But have you ever hit something first? Of course. Can you relate to the song? Of course. Case closed. <laughs> E. What man? Come on, E, yeah, bro. You man. gotta, we gotta buy. Right, we gotta, man. you know. Yeah, I, listen, I always support, and man. You always keep it one hundred. Always. I'm gonna nah, see y'all when I. Today, he like eighty percent. Why? What I didn't do today? Because he wanted, he wanted you to go more in on the question. Like, well, I'm like, because like, whack is the I real scumbag. Like, like, <laughs> yo, yo, man, chill. Yo, I can't even believe you put his name out man, like that. Why you throw his name out? He ain't tripping. He ain't tripping. He ain't true. No, no, no. I wasn't going to bring him yeah, all the way into good. it. Nah, but I'm just saying. That he wanted you to go in. I'm on a humble run. Ebro. I'm, I'm on a humble run. I'm on a humble run. I've been blessed to be here today through the ups and downs. I've been Yo, through a lot of to stuff. To the OGs. Listen, to the OGs that know I know what's going on. What's happening is a lot of people are getting money right now. And there's plenty of drama going on in many, many circles. Mm-hmm. In this particular situation, Ray J, your checks is about to roll in, so I don't really have to turn up about your relationship and where she comes from and who she used to date and how things got sideways. We ain't got to do that. Appreciate that, E. Also, to the brother Molly Maul, my cousin who's on Love & Hip Hop, Hollywood, um, you know, this is going to be good for you in some ways. In other ways, now you're going to expose the way you know Hardy, money's been moving out Hardy here for a long his, time. his Maybach bulletproof. Yeah, I saw them too. Nah, yeah, this, yeah, we saw he it. To, he, he, all he need to do is get it high heel proof. You know what I'm saying? And he, he's straight. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's <laughs> that's yeah. why you know because it's I'm trying to get everybody to a positive space. I'm trying to get everybody to a space where you know what I mean? Because the last 12 months has been a lot of controversy in the street in a lot of different places, and I'm privy to a lot of it. But I, I don't bring all that business to everybody because that ain't everybody's business. Street business, is street business. And that and that's where that's gonna go. If we, you know what I'm saying, and I don't so, do but for the sake of this, for the laughter and the things that you do, because you know yeah. you a scumbag, and you know you at do times th- I've been a scumbag, but now I'm I'm a different person. Today, I'm on a humble run. Today, nope, forever. When you put something in that tea you sipping, no, nah, this ain't nothing. I don't. Even and it's drink Saturday like that. night, and you and somebody paying you to be somewhere, mm-hmm. you gonna turn up. I'm on probation. E, I gotta be careful. Oh, you can't even drink. No, nah, I could drink, but I can't get in trouble. I can't get in trouble wow. at all. For how long? Three. Three years. Wow. Whew. Shit is real, man. Yeah. I'm getting old. He gave me the punchline. I know. He said, me and Tierra, I'm a re relationship. I know. I know. The ropes. I know. I know, man. Listen, I, I caught love. the Tierra Marie on the, on the ropes. ropes. I, I caught love, all of I that. I love, I love everybody on the cast. Shout out to Floyd Mayweather. See? You see? <laughs> <laughs> your your deep is wild. <laughs>